and for your own family members, people around you who claim to quote unquote love you, who are allowing you to look so stupid and go viral over the internet for complete lunacy. Hey guys, and welcome back for another video. Today, Lord have mercy. I swear, modern women, when they go ahead and then they go viral for doing something stupid, what they then do is go ahead and proceed to double down on that stupidity. Like, if you thought I was bad, let me go ahead and confirm that I am 10,000 times worse than you thought I was. Anyway, remember that lady that was online and kind of went viral for the whole, like, I'm demanding bigger seats in the airline or free seats and stuff like that? Yeah, well... She went ahead and explained exactly what her whole petition is exactly about. Check this crap out, and you know what? We're gonna go ahead and leave our comments on it. So yeah. I recently launched a plus size travel petition to protect customers of size when they travel by air. I am advocating for policies and measures to make air travel more comfortable and accessible for plus size travelers. My petition is based on personal experiences of discrimination and discomfort while traveling by myself and with my partner, who's also plus size. We have faced hateful comments, disapproving looks, and even refusal to sit next to us because of our size. So okay, <laughs> I don't mean to minimize anybody's experience here, but uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people in their lifetime have experienced some level of rejection in sweetheart. That's going to be pretty much what life is for most people. Now, to which degree people experience rejection, harassment, or, or bullying, or whatever. I mean, different people are going to have different varying amounts of it. And I guess when you are a person of her size, and as we can see here, I mean, my goodness, she is just, she's just big. And I'm not even trying to be funny or anything. Um, I'm going to try to, you know, find something nice to say since I'm about to say this. When I saw her, the first thing I thought of was this. I, I literally thought, wow, pig. It's not nice, but this is the first thing I thought of. <sighs> you guys, I just had to get that out. I don't see a big reason for a, a petition just because you had a few glances of people you know looking at you funny or refusing to sit next to you or whatever that is kind of weird i'm not gonna lie to like refuse to straight sit next to somebody but who knows i i have thankfully been blessed the few times that i've been on a plane i've never had to sit next to anyone this large she needs she's one of those people that you better get the entire row like if it's a row of three like most you know, planes have like, you know, a row of th three. That's what she needs. This treatment of plus size travelers is absolutely unacceptable. And urgent action is needed to protect the dignity and rights of all passengers, regardless of their size. To achieve this goal, my plus size travel petition outlines several suggested policies that should be implemented. The first policy is to provide additional accessible seats to customers of size who may require more physical space. This would involve offering an extra free seat or multiple seats to accommodate some plus size travelers needs and ensure our comfort and safety during our flight. The petition highlights precedent already set by Southwest Airlines and Canadian transportation carriers already provide free additional seats to those who physically require them. Addi so if the Canadian Airlines and Southwest want to eat a loss, a big loss, because let's be honest, every free seat that you give pretty much stops another normal sized person from being able to pay for a whole ticket. The thing is, when you take up more than one seat, then you disallow someone who could fit in that seat normally the opportunity because you're taking it up they're taking a loss by doing that i'm sorry because if i had my own personal airline and depending on how big you were yeah you would have to pay for those seats why should any airline lose out on revenue and ticket sales just because the people are big as heck and take up the seats that doesn't sound like a great business opportunity at that point i would be like having literal weight restrictions like, like um yeah, if you're over, you know, 300 pounds, I can't even let you on my plane. And more than likely, you're gonna need like a row of seats. And if you're only paying for one, that stops literally two other people from being able to take up those seats. Those are paying customers. I'm willing to have three skinny people on my plane than one fat one and only one ticket. I'm sorry. I mean, at that point, you're gonna have people literally discriminating against fat people for real. When it comes down to money, 
Yeah. Why should anyone else in the world lose out just because you're fat? Additionally, the petition advocates for reimbursement for customers of size who independently purchase their additional seats. This would involve establishing a straightforward refund process that can easily be accessed online or through customer service. These airlines should also have a written procedure for airport assistance to ensure that customers of size have the necessary support they need. This would involve providing information on available airport assistance options and how to request them. The petition also calls for priority boarding for customers of size, as we may require more time and space to get to our seats and get comfortably situated. Priority seating just because you're big and it takes time to get there. I'm pretty sure they do allow people with handicaps to get on first. I don't know if the world sees obesity as a handicap, even though technically it can be when you get to a certain size. I don't think it's the same level of handicap as a person who's like born without a limb. Obesity is something that any one person, if you are afflicted with it, you can change it. Let's be honest, due to your own personal choices, you have brought upon yourself. If you're not willing to pay anymore, like if you're willing to pay extra dollars for special services and treatment, then maybe, you know, I'm, I'm all for it at that point. I, I'm an airline. So not only am I giving you a free seat, but now I'm offering you extra services. My people about to be like hurting their backs, hurting their knees and shoulders, trying to assist you, help you as a morbidly obese person. What does the world owe you? You owe the world and furniture a break. That's what you need to do. It urges airlines and government agencies that regulate the airline industry to conduct training on using respectful language that does not focus on a person's body size or abilities. The training would also educate employees on how to assist customers of size, guaranteeing a pleasant travel experience without discrimination. The petition aims to make travel more accessible for people of all sizes and abilities. It also proposes that all new airplanes should have at least one wheelchair accessible lavatory, ensuring that all passengers can use the restroom comfortably. My petition was created in response to stories that I've received from my followers and my personal experiences as a plus size traveler. Many of my followers have avoided flying for years due to discriminatory experiences. The accommodations outlined such as larger lavatories, alternative seating arrangements, and a dedicated section for customers of size. Now, one thing I will say is airplane bathrooms are pretty small. I'm definitely a taller than average person. So knee space and everything in an airplane can be an issue for me. But do I expect an airline to lose out on their revenue because now, because the seats are bigger and they have more space, that means that they can accommodate less people. The airlines and the seats are made the way they are. It's made to fit as many people on this plane as possible. And if you have to use the bathroom, you get a hole in a closet. And if you can't fit in there, that would be unfortunate, especially if you're thinking of your traveling long distances. She would never be able to fit in like those bathrooms that, you know, a normal airline would have. There, there would just be no way possible. <laughs> she's, she's huge. Okay. And every day, normal size people have, you know, issues and maneuvering in them little bathrooms. Somebody like her couldn't even get in. I understand why she's doing this now. Just looking at her, if you're a fat person like her and you're traveling, yeah, you would be mad at the world. You would be pissed off. You would be like, something needs to change here. Because I can imagine her travel experience is probably extremely frustrating. Like, traveling, period, is frustrating. But now, couple that with the fact that you're way bigger than the average person, so everything's too small, everything's not comfortable, people are looking at you, people are unwilling to help you, people are looking like, you're fat, why should I help you? When you see somebody who's in need of help, who can't help themselves, you want to help. When you look at somebody like her who just refuse to help themselves or don't want to help themselves, you just want to be fat, lazy, overeat, and have the world help you. You need some kind of um, some kind of nonprofit airline or something because the way you're talking, this doesn't sound like a profitable business. Making everything all extra big and comfortable for the same price doesn't sound like an airline that's gonna make it in today's economy. My best advice to her was, is, is lose weight. Rather than trying to change airlines, lose weight. Rather than going to change.org, why, why is it so hard to change yourself? Would enhance the overall comfort and accessibility of air travel for everyone, not just plus size passengers. Passengers with disabilities, tall individuals, or individuals who need more space physically would also benefit from these accommodations. The response to the petition has been amazing. We've gathered over 29,000 signatures and counting, with people all over the world joining our movement for a more inclusive travel experience. Together, our efforts have gone viral, reaching over 100 million people in just the last few months. The message is resonating, and major media outlets like CNN, Fox News, CBS, Travel and Leisure, 
Reporter, Thrillist, Yahoo, Newsweek, News Nation, The Breakfast Club, and Under the Desk News, and even more are starting to notice. If you haven't already, please sign the petition today by going to change.org slash plus size travel. Every signature matters and adds weight to our cause. Together, we're creating a movement that cannot be ignored. This is something plus size people have been dealing with forever. Now, I'm not saying plus size people shouldn't be allowed to live and travel. If you're going to travel, then you just need to pay more. Just like how you have to pay more when you go clothes shopping, you got to pay more when you go out to eat because, I mean, let's be honest, you want to eat more than the average person, so you're going to automatically pay more. You're, you're paying more in every sense of the word, and you know why? It's because you're choosing to do so. These are all decisions that you've made. The, the rest of the world doesn't have to change the standards that have already been in place for years just because you have outgrown their standard of seating. You're going to start a whole petition. You went out and started a whole petition on change.org instead of just getting up and exercising and losing freaking weight. Am I the only person that's infuriated by this kind of stuff? You're not anybody special and think that these businesses need to go ahead and change their standard, create bigger seating for a person that is two to three sizes bigger than the average person. Most people are overweight nowadays. Yeah, most people aren't this freaking fat. These private owned businesses owe you nothing. You're fat. You need to lose weight. Not because you need to look better, but because you need to fit in normal size seating. That's ridiculous. And for your own family members, people around you who claim to quote unquote love you, who allowing you to look so stupid and go viral over the internet for complete lunacy. You look like an absolute buffoon and your family sits back and allows it they just what pat your big old fat back i'm touching the couch as i pat this person's back y'all not thinking this is coming off so mean but bro why is the world like this now some news outlets have mistakenly portrayed the examples of discrimination i face as recent events but the truth is me and many other plus size individuals have been facing discrimination during air travel for years i want to talk about the faa and how they've responded when press has asked them about my plus size travel petition when a representative from travel and leisure reached out to the faa regarding my plus size travel petition the faa responded with the following sentiments they referred back to last year when they were accepting comments from the public for 90 days regarding if airplane seats were too small they stated that they were still sorting through those comments and that they had no comment on my current plus size travel petition. While they did provide an answer, it has absolutely nothing to do with my plus size travel petition for many reasons. During the 90 days that they accepted public comments, they only wanted people to focus on seat dimensions in airplanes. They only wanted people to comment on the seat dimensions in regards to safety, not comfort. During that open comment period, nothing was addressed about customers of size or anything that I'm covering in my plus size travel petition. You know what, I'm not even, I'm done. Okay, this is going on way too deep. And you know what, the point is this, and I'm gonna end this video here. I'm gonna pretty much drop the mic on this. The point is, ma'am, you're fighting for a cause that is unnecessary. You're fighting for your right to be fat. And being fat is not a good thing to be. You're more concerned about the actual travel than the destination. That's how horrible it is for you. Because sitting in normal seats is just unbearable for you. There is absolutely no reason for you to maintain morbid obesity. You don't need to be 400 pounds. Airlines do not need to do anything different than they already do because guess what? While I am not a small woman and while I am almost six feet off of the ground, I'm still willing to sit in those small coach seats until I can afford to sit and ride first class, baby, because you know what? It's gonna get me to where I'm going. Would it not be easier and more beneficial for you as an individual to just lose weight? This is just one of many scenarios in which your weight is gonna be affected by the regular world standards. Now, everywhere you go, you have to have double wide chairs, any and everywhere, reinforced everything because of Miss Huge. Because of Miss Piggy, we just need to change everything in the world. How selfish, entitled, pathetically stupid bad acceptance movement is at this point. This is unacceptable. And, and you don't want people to think these things about you, but then you put videos out like this, like, hey world, change to accommodate my fatness instead of me just losing weight, which would benefit me and my overall health and longevity of life. You guys tell me what you think. Leave me a comment. I, I mean, I'm sorry. The more I do these videos, the more frustrated I get. <laughs> we might have to lay off of the fat acceptance because I feel like these fat people are stressing me out, yo. <laughs>
<laughs> but I appreciate y'all, especially if you made it this far. Don't forget to leave your girl a like and a comment. I love y'all so much and I will see you next time.